my name is Evelyn Joy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to one of my favorite channels of all time, the AB Family. They've chosen to keep their names private. I discovered online that you can find their names. Uh, their daughter is public with her name, first name being um, Gabriella. But they like to remain private with their identities so that people don't show up knocking on their doors. But um, I especially love that they make videos and read mean comments and they make light of it because everyone on YouTube receives hate comments. There are so many hateful people. I don't, I don't understand how people just get on their computers or their phones just so they can bring somebody else down so they can get their anger out. It's, it's the same concept as bullying. Um, why, why bully people? Are you pushing people down to lift yourself up? That's not how it works. Like, if you ever want to feel more encouraged, try encouraging someone else. Anyway, I love how they handle it because they laugh at grammatical errors and I teach grammar. I love that. So, and I love how these parents are teaching their kids when you receive hate, that person's in a bad spot. I always, in elementary school, I always took it personally when I got bullied. But in high school, by then I was smart enough to know that that person's got something personally wrong going on with them that they have to lash out at others. And it's so true. So true. Let's watch this. They're also Hispanic and I love that. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Reading Mean Comments. If you guys have never watched one of our previous mean comment videos, what we do is we look for mean comments on one of the platforms that we post on either YouTube or Instagram or anywhere, and we respond to mean comments. We want to show you what we do when we hear mean comments said about us. Oh. Hopefully it inspires you in the way you deal with mean comments. Yes. Without further ado, let's get started. The boy is too cringe and he can't do nothing. <gasps> your way of thinking, so I'm so sorry. Cringy is the best way to describe this vid. Okay. Cringy. Cringy. Oh, I'm cringy. so sorry. I appreciate your words of wisdom, but cringy, I've never heard that word before. It would be really good. good. Yeah. I would be very thankful if you actually described that to me, just so that I know what cringy is for the future. And do you know what's funny? Do you know what his last name means? In Inocencio. Inocencio. It means innocence. Oh my god. But he's not really, because he's reading mean comments on people's videos, so... <laughs> But that could be a new upcoming game called Ford Eye. Ford Eye. Don't talk bad about Ford. They make good cars, okay? You guys are ultimate cringe, but you're not that bad. Not that bad. I'll take it. The boy dances <laughs> very well. If he was a stupid person. <laughs> Okay, Mic drop. Thank you for telling me that I dance very well and then telling me that I dance stupidly. I'm gonna take it that you think I dance very well. Here he goes. <laughs> a very good dancer, it is about being but the best. it's not about being the best. It's just about having fun while you're doing everything you want to in life. Yeah, donkeys are great. Okay. This family equals cringe, am I right? 
No hat, just saying. You don't have to wear a hat. Maybe this is saying, this family equals cringe, am I right? And then maybe he's saying, no hate, just saying. Yeah. Hey, you do you, man. My cringe meter broke. My cringe meter broke. No! The cringe meter broke! <gasps> I feel so sorry for you right now that you have a cringe meter mm -hmm. And then it's broke. Yeah. Your daughter is ugly <laughs> anyway. She looks like a pig pen. Her breath smells She's like hot dog ugly. water. What's their and your problem? dad is lame. He cannot dance. Whoa! It's okay, but how does she know that what your breath smells like? I know, right? <sighs> how does she know what your breath uh, smells like? Ariane, you're too young yeah. to be a hater. Please move on. Too much cringe. I'm dying. Called 911. Oh no. Do you know how angry 911 would be if you actually <laughs> called them to say something so ridiculous? Hello? 911? Yes, I'd like to report a cringe video. What? I'm speaking, I'm speaking to a banana? How old are you? Nine. Ew! Bad video. Bad video. Bad? bad video, bad video. So is it a bad video or a bad video? You guys do know if you make a spelling mistake, you can actually delete the first comment. Do you guys know that you can delete your comments? That's how young these kids are! Parents, where are you? Alright, the family is poop! We're not. We're really not. Glad you got that out of your system. Wait, 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 I just need to do... Okay, so I don't smell like poop? No, we smell nice. Like no. Poop. We all took showers this Guys, if you must okay. know, Mama Bee smells like oranges. Yummy! Next. Bro. Bro! Uh, just from starting a sentence like that, you are automatically disqualified from being a human. Oh! <laughs> Bro, I'm so blind of your cringe video, and you look like a Grinch. Ouch. Ouch. Wow. I love the Grinch. Do you know that I watch the Grinch every single year, and, and I like him. I am so scared for my health. I think I got cringe Is that a thing? No. Is that a thing? Is that a thing for really young kids who are unsupervised so. on the internet? Anyone who uses the word cringy is cringy. Whoa. So if cringe is in your vocabulary, you are cringe. Yeah. The dad isn't even funny. It's just cringe. No hate. Why are people still using the word cringe? Like literally, cringe, 2018, cringe. 2018, 2018 is like cringe. They, they must have like an auto-generated cringe commenter. Yeah. Like they just go into the internet and they're like, okay, yeah. I want to see something mean, and the machine goes, okay, we're going to add the word cringe and no hate. Like it, it makes no or sense, no right? Or no hat. No hat. This family is horrible. They don't deserve the subs because they are cringy and are irrelevant. That means irrelevant. Yeah. Irrelevant means relevant. All right. Oh, here we go, Blake. Oh, his tongue's tongue sticking out. That's a great profile. Like, look at that art. Art off to the side, not center. Guys, just to let you know, in the beginning of the video, you're being super cringe. Well, thank you for letting us know. And next time, so I guess we'll start off our... Yeah, we'll definitely change our intro so that we're not cringy in the yes. future. All right, Street oh Gary, you good time. He Dave. This has so many things that I despise. Hmm. All right, first of all, he Dave, nice which profile. is a spelling mistake. Unsubbed, cringe. Threats, empty threats, and my detested word. Cringe? And then using, again, the word cringe. cringe. And it's like, if you're gonna unsub, just go. Let them really... Just there's a door. There's a really easy way to do that. Yeah, you can do that. If you don't like it, it's, it's so fine. Big. It's fine. You don't have to say it. You can just go. Yeah. Thanks for the so memories. Great, but but thank you for the memories, Street so Gamer. Angry. Angry. Yeah. Don't be so angry. Life is too short. Ooh. Oh, oh, my God. God. Yes. The dad is low-key trash. Ew. Ooh, should I say that in a low-key? The dad is low-key trash. But he's not so trash. The dad is high-key trash! Their videos There's so many are things awesome. wrong with this comment. When you call someone trash, it is so derogatory, it's so disgusting yeah, to but call you know, someone that. First of all, just use, use a better vocabulary. If you actually have feedback, constructive feedback, we welcome it. But if you just start copying what other people say on the internet, it makes you look silly. It makes you look like a robot. A bot. You're a sheep. Yeah. You're, a you're, sheep. sheep. you're a bot. Low-key trash. Here. Too many people say that. Get creative with yeah. your feedback. Alright, let's go. The dad jokes are lame and stupid and he looks like a grandma. Now that is constructive feedback. Let's I love that. The dad jokes, they're lame and stupid and he looks like a grandma. Yeah. Yes! Let's go. Yes, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh. They suck. They are so tood. What is tood? 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 I think it's attitude. Attitude. They are so tood. Maybe well, that's a new word. Well, the T and the R are next to each other in the, in the keyboard. So maybe they said they suck. They're so rude. Dude? They are so dude. I think it's so rude. Guys, it's rude. They are so rude. They suck. They are so rude. Wow. Wait, oh, if you think we're rude? Ugh. Who are the people living around you, my friend? You should check the internet. Those are the mean comments for today, guys. 
So what's the moral of the story then? In my opinion, the moral of the story is... Cringe is a very popular word. Very popular and we need word. to end that. Yeah, we need to end that. Hashtag yes. no cringe. And what can parents do to teach their kids how to express themselves online? Mm. How about try to be positive? And even when you give feedback, you can do it in a positive and yeah. loving way. Non-harming. So if your intention is to harm someone else, that's not really good karma for you. And listen in school so you can possess of a more advanced vocabulary. Yes. At least roast me intelligently. <laughs> yes, yes, I like that. Yes. Yeah. Roast us intelligently. And especially yes. for you guys, because you guys put yourself out there online, yeah. and you put yourselves on the line in front of millions of people around the world, and how do you feel about people who leave mean comments? I don't take it personally, and I don't think that anyone who has put themselves out there online should take it personally, because you have to listen to the people you love, and of course, the people you love are also going to have constructive criticism towards you, mm -hmm. but you just got to listen to them, because those are the people who want to see you succeed. And does it matter what other people think? Not no. at all. Can you change people's opinions of you? Or do you think um, that some people just set out not to like you for whatever reason and whatever their insecurities are? I feel that there are going to be times where you aren't able to change the way a person sees you. And that's totally okay. As long as you have yourself, as long as you have your friends, your family that are there for you. Because like, I think that haters are just bored. And to be honest here, I think that we're a pretty okay family. And so what do you think I that think they're projecting awesome on family. you when they make those comments? Jealousy. Yeah, jealousy, anger, hate. And so chances are they were raised to think that life is a competition. And yeah. so if they see you guys doing well and being funny and getting followers, they think it's a competition. And so they hate you for it. Instead of saying, this person inspires me. I want to be just like them. I want to learn from them. And I'm going to work hard to achieve what they have achieved. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 To that. Amen. Amen to that. Amen. Guys, we're going to continue to do what we love. And what we love to do is have fun together and just be our goofy selves and not worry about the negative comments in the world. We love you guys so much. I will see you again soon. Love it. Love it. So if you want to watch them, they're the AB family. That's spelled E-H space B-E-E. -E. That's the initials of the father. Um, he started off on Vine, but as he started to gain popularity, he realized that he didn't want his first and last name as his name on Vine. So he changed it to AB, but spelled it out E-H space B-E-E. -E. So they call themselves Mama B, Papa B. Miss Monkey and Mr. Monkey. But now that Gabriella, Miss Monkey, is older, she has her own channel and I subscribe to her as well. And she's Gabriella B, B E E. So that's their last initial. So for their privacy, you don't have to look up their names. I looked them up, but I'm not publicizing it, obviously. But um, I think they're a really cool family and. Um, I really respect them for making reaction videos to their mean comments and for teaching their kids not to take mean comments to heart. So, love it. And also, um, if you have a YouTube channel and receive hate comments, um, focus on the love. Obviously, if there's something constructive criticism, on my channel, when I first started off, people were telling me, oh my goodness, you're talking too slow, which was true, and you're talking with a baby voice and it's so annoying. So I changed and I said, okay, the people don't want me to sound like a kindergarten teacher, so I will use my regular voice for my videos and I've stopped getting comments like that. But that is constructive criticism that I do appreciate, even though it was hurtful. I deleted a video because of it. But... When people just say, you suck, like, there's nothing you can learn from that because it's not constructive. Um, be kind and have a great day.